So uh, the next company is not a technology company. Um, they are more of a service provider with a really innovative model. Uh, and please, Sam, welcome on the stage. Thank you much. Let's see, does this work? Everybody can hear? Okay. Oops. Be careful. Yes, indeed. Thank you. Take a look at that. Hi, everybody. <laughs> nice. Okay, well, first of all, right, for me coming in to this show with you all, um, today I have seen uh, some of the founders of, uh, and participants of some of the companies that, that have been role models in what we've done and, and uh, seriously honored, right? There are some magnificent people here, so... Uh, very nice, and I'm looking forward to hanging out with you guys. Uh, my na name is again Sam Manaberry. Uh, founded the company Trine. As you see, Trine means triple, triple as in triple impact. Um, some call it uh, social entrepreneurship. We just call it good business, right? And uh, what we in fact are is a crowd investing platform. Uh, where our customers are private individuals that invest in very specific social impact projects. And these are solar energy projects in developing nations, emerging markets, or whatever you want to call them, right? But for us, where it makes the most sense. Um, they do so because they want to have a very specific return on invest. They want to have a specific impact, measurable impact, on people's lives. Um, they want to be an Im impact investor as well, but with a few hundred euros instead of a few thousands and thousands of euros. And they do so because they want to do a very specific climate impact. Maybe they don't talk about it, but they also want to do so because it's just great to share that with the world. Uh, and in such way, that becomes somewhat of a sales engine for us in our business model. Uh, a lot of people here know uh, solar energy. Myself, I'm a, a previous solar guy. Um, four and a half billion years, great fusion reactor, free energy, all that kind of good stuff that you guys already know. But it's important. And what's important is that, that it's extremely scalable. Uh, photovoltaic uh, has been booming. Um, in the markets that we talk about competing with kerosene or diesel, we are easily a third of the price. Um, and all the other good benefits that come with it. Um, hard to see this photo on my screen, it shows perfectly. Uh, it's really dark. It's a photo from a rural uh, orphanage in, uh, in India. Uh, the kids are studying under kerosene lights. Uh, kerosene lights right there correspond to smoking two packets of cigarettes per day for these children. And uh, maybe craziest part of that is that it's in fact cheaper per kilowatt hour with solar, with the technology that exists already today. So what is then the real problem, right? Well, what we see uh, is that there is a boatload of projects just waiting to get done. Um, first, the hypothesis now proven. We, we can't handle all the projects that are coming towards us. Uh, we frankly need to move faster and better in order to take benefit of that. Um, then there is all this retail capital lying around in the markets with mi micro social impact people. Somewhere we will see that there is 1.3 billion people in the world under so-called energy poverty. Well, you know what? I think there's more than a billion people in the world, in the Western world, with meaning poverty. Yeah? They want to do something. Uh, so there's all this retail capital and, and there's no real good connection. Yeah? And that's where we are trying to come in. So basically how it works is we pool up in terms of crowd <coughs> investing. Uh, money for a fully funded project. When this fully funded project um, has been defined, signed, we put it online and execute the operational contract, securing its long-term operation. As soon as it flips the switch, electricity is uh, produced, the local entrepreneur that has been funded by our platform, and here I think it's important in this educated crowd to talk about that it's a debt instrument, right? We don't want equity in the local entrepreneurs. We just want to support them scale their business, right? That's what drives us. Um, so as soon as they start making money, they repay their loan towards our crowd investors. Very simple. 
Uh, the team, myself, uh, I have been uh, working with solar energy for some years. Last job was with uh, Bosch Solar Energy, where I was the North American director. And we were focusing on solar panels, components, BOS, as well as funding, finance. That was really the game changer for scaling our business at Bosch in the US because we focused on launching a $100 million fund for financing. And that changed everything, because as some of you may know, just selling panels for Bosch in Europe wasn't a great deal. Um, Andreas, great guy, Austrian, together with me in Gothenburg, studied engineering uh, in environmentals at Chalmers. Uh, <laughs> unbelievable worth ethics, but above that, he's the guy that actually crowdfunded <laughs> for Kenyan orphanage even before we met, right? He's all in. Uh, and he gets the technology and operational part. Jenne, Christian, our hacker extraordinaire, has been coding in startups for over eight years. He is really good. What sets us different is the user experience, as you will see in the future platform. Right now, it's pilot project. But it's all about addictive feature. It's all about making the crowd really want to do this, right? And stimulating that growth. We are a part of one of the world's best incubators, so we've been backed up by them, which is great. Uh, we have a bunch of solar partners in our pipe, more than 200 right now. We're focusing on three, <laughs> right? <laughs> we we got to take care of the rest. I ask you to help me with that, because there's a lot of people, a bunch of startups working on changing the world. We think this is a really worthy problem to solve. Uh, we've won our demo day. We've won a bunch of <laughs> contests. We are going into uh, our first projects. They look something like this. They're pretty amazing. We have a bunch of testimonials and videos that we will put online transparently for everybody. And I don't care in what currency, as long as it, in the end of the day, is 5 million kroners, because that's going to take us to position to scale from being a pilot. And that's why I'm here today. So if you are the right angel investor or the early stage, real early stage uh, player in VC, please do approach me afterwards and we can have a chat. We have a lot of good stuff that's not on these slides. Alles klar? Very Thank good. you, Sam. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, so um, with all the trees and the lights and the, the red furniture and so on, it's, it's a bit like Christmas Eve in here. It so is, it, yeah. If, if, if this would be Christmas Eve and you get one wish, is that those five million crowns or is it... What do you wish for here today? I wish that we had already today a tool to capture the 200 project pipeline, right? There's 200 entrepreneurs. They all have 10 to 50 projects. And we have this scale waiting for us. That's what I would wish for if it was wishful thinking. Five, I don't think I need to wish. I think we can get it done. I think so as well. Yeah. So thank you. And um, now it's time for network drinks. And uh, please find our companies, discuss with them. And if you bring the gold, it will be OK as well. Right? Yeah. All right. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Thank you all.